One of my favorite parts about being a professional artist, definitely the work-related shopping sprees. A few months ago, I bought this 24 pan set of Schmincke watercolors. And honestly, the 24, it's a half pan set. It was probably enough. Probably did not need that many more supplies. So I wanna throw that out there. If you're interested in getting started in watercolor, you don't need to go as crazy as what I just did. See, it comes with a lot of colors. Actually, this is after I moved stuff around. These aren't the colors it came with. We're gonna pretend it is for the sake of this video. You don't really need that many more than this because they blend and mix beautifully. But I lack self-control when it comes to art supplies. So I decided on the advice of you guys, or many of you guys, I wanted some new paintbrushes, a few new things, definitely needed some new colors, needed. Who gets to make up the definition of words? Because I'm pretty sure my definition of need is not the same as other people's definition of need. I think mine's more valid. You know, a lot of what I wanted, and really with most of the supplies I want, you can't really get them at the local, like Michael's or whatever. They don't have that big of a selection because they're pushing their generic crap so heavily, and most art supply stores in my area, that is the case. So I go online more often than not to buy things. My normal places are Jerry's Artorama, Dick Blick, and occasionally Amazon has really good prices. So in the case of these watercolors, I got these from Cheap Joe's, it's my first purchase there. They never have anything I want. So that was kind of good, saved a bit of money there. But you guys suggested some different watercolor brushes and while what I had was working for me and I was using my Arches Hot Press watercolor paper, I figured I could use some more of that. So I went to Dick Blick and placed an order. Not long after I placed that order, a friend of mine who is an excellent watercolor artist suggested some of the Winsor Newton brushes, the Series 7, I believe. So I went to Jerry's, ordered those, and of course if I'm gonna order those, I may as well save on shipping and order a lot of things, because that's how you save money. Anyway, placed a bigger order with Jerry's. I was out of some stuff, needed some stuff for other, other mediums anyway, so placed that order. After that, it was brought to my attention there were other supplies that I should probably buy. So that's how I ended up with three orders, well, technically four, because then I realized I forgot to get the white gouache. So that's why I have so many orders in this unboxing. They all came the same day, which was really convenient for this unboxing. So let's go ahead and head to the studio floor my beautiful teal carpet, and check out what came. First thing I'm going to open is my Amazon order, and the only reason I got this from Amazon and not Jerry's or Blick is because it was an after the fact I forgot to order, so to save on shipping, it ended up being cheaper just to go ahead and order this there. No one cares about that story. I don't know why I'm sharing it. So, oh, what? let's see how much plastic we can use to package an item. Oh my gosh, Amazon. Hold on, where are the scissors? I'm still trying to open this like five minutes later because I couldn't find my scissors. This is the most ridiculous packing job. Oh my God. Okay, so the first thing I've got is the, this is white gouache to use for my white highlights because we know I am not a proper watercolor artist. So I got that for more opaque highlights. Gouache is just opaque watercolor. So first we're going to open the Jerry's box Well, that box just kind of fell apart. That is the weirdest box. Seriously, very weird. Pro tip, any packing material you get, save it and reuse it anytime you have to ship artwork. So the first thing is not a watercolor item. It is Liquitex Gesso. I've been out of this for a bit. I've been using my clear gesso, which I normally save for times I need clear gesso. So finally, got a big gesso. I ordered three rolls of masking tape. This is what you should be using if you're gonna tape your work to an artboard. This is a better choice than like the blue tape I occasionally use. That stuff's not acid free. It can leave residue that is not good for your artwork on the artwork. You wanna go with a pH neutral uh, or acid free tape for taping artwork. Next I have, look, nothing really watercolor to watercolor related so far. So I've got some oil paint from Grumbacher. It's a really nice brand of oil paint. I am a fan. My lighting is getting bad in here. I should probably figure out a way to adjust this. Not sure how much that helped, but we're gonna go with it. Next I had, oh, another non watercolor item. My hooker's green. I was running low of that, of my Liquitex Basics acrylic paint. Oh, finally a watercolor item. So this one is, Deep sea green, 
seemed, seemed like a must have. I'm gonna make some of my own watercolor half pans. I should set this out all pretty so you can all see it when it's there. So next we have Creative Mark. I don't remember why I bought these ones, brush set. Oh, cause they're mimics. A bunch of you guys had suggested the mimic brush, watercolor brushes. So I figured I would give those a try. I just got a brush set mostly because of the rounds that the rounds in the liner was what I was really interested in. I do like how they've got the brushes packaged like this. That's a pretty good way to protect them. As I dump them all in. Okay, we have a creative mark. This is a, I don't know. I think I got this for acrylic paint. I did not get that one, I don't think, for, for watercolors. I think my intent there was acrylics. So then we're back to the Creative Mark, the Mimic brushes. And this was one that a lot of you guys had recommended. So I got a, am I even in focus? I don't even know if I'm in focus. I've got a three quarter filbert, a one inch filbert. I got a one and a half inch flat. We have the silver black velvet stripper brush. That is in crap, oh no, actually, I was gonna say it's in crap condition, but I think that I was warned by somebody that they do come and look all fluffy, but once you add water, they'll be in good condition. So hopefully that's gonna be the case because that is a fluff ball. And a silver black velvet number four. And some more. We've got a, I actually think I got these more for my acrylics because I use them a lot for that. These are the Hamburg Premier Creative Mark. I got a number six, uh, what was that? A number six filbert, a number two filbert, and a number four filbert. Sometimes I don't remember why I bought something. I don't remember if I wanted to try that with watercolor or if I was gonna use it as a scrubber. It could have been any reason, who knows? I was just throwing stuff in the cart. So back to the Creative Mark, their Mimic brushes. I got a number two rigger, a number one rigger, so liner brushes essentially. I got a quarter inch flat and a half inch filbert. So that would be an addition to those ones. So I've got a whole bunch of the Mimic brushes to try out. I guess there are all of those. And that is it for Jerry's. Next, the first Dick Flick box. More packing material I'll save in case I have an order. I got a new brush holder for all of the new watercolor brushes. So these are really handy. Blick is the only one that has the one with the rose like this that I like, but you can stick them all in here at different levels and then you will just, uh, well, as long as you don't have anything in the front, the top, I fold it down. But if there's anything that high, you would probably damage the brushes. But this one is super stiff right now. It just rolls up and then you tie it. Pretty handy. I use this for my brushes for oils and acrylics. so. If I'm making a bad choice here for, for watercolor brushes, if it's gonna damage them, let me know. I'm new to this, but either way, that'll get used. This one's way more stiff than the other. It's the same brand that I've been buying for years from Blake, but that is really stiff. So we got that. Here are the Winsor & Newton Series 7 brushes. A friend of mine who is a watercolor artist said these were absolute must-haves. Wow, they're packed pretty fancy in there. So I got a number, what is this one? It's turning. I got a number three and a number five round of those two. Those were highly recommended. Those ones were definitely on the pricier side. I got some more Winsor & Newton masking fluid. I was out of that. Actually, I have some, but it's old and that stuff definitely gets bad when air has been exposed to it. For colored pencil, I got some more Canson Me Tans. I got the gray tones. So with the gray tones pack, if you've not seen this one, I've got a couple of sheets of black. We've got different shades of everything from white to tan and actual grays. The grays in the center there are my favorites. Got lots of colors there. With the Canson Me Tans with colored pencil, I like to work on the smooth side. If I use a pan pastel base, then I'm gonna work on the rough side. Or with charcoal, I prefer the rough side. 
we've got even more paper here. So here is another, this is a 24 pack of 12 by 16, same thing in the gray tones. So same colors, just bigger size. And I got the assorted colors pack. So we've got blue, gray, a lighter gray, a really ugly orange. Somebody's gonna correct me on that and think it's beautiful. I think it's hideous. A uh, weird cream color, and then we've got white. More packing material to save. I will say they are packed well. Okay, now we have some more of the Schminka watercolors, again, to make my own little half pans with. I got the Perusian Blue, I'm saying that wrong, I'm sure, Purple Magenta, and Quidonkadonk Violet. Somebody's not gonna know why I call it that, and correct me for being dumb. I mean, you're not wrong, I am dumb, but that's what I always call it. I got some Bleed Proof White. This was something that you guys recommended. It's stuffed in there, really. This is the Doc, Doc Phil Martins, Doc PH Martins, Dr. PH Martins. I don't know how you're supposed to say it. Someone let me know. Bleed Proof White. So we'll play with that. With how well it's wrapped, I'm kind of afraid to stick it on this carpet. In the next box, we have another watercolor. This one is olive green. Yeah, that's showing two stars. That was a waste of like $15. Now these ones all have a lot of stars. I don't know, maybe I'm dumb. Maybe I didn't just, I just didn't check. So I also got uh, Perline Violet. I'm sure I'm butchering that. Transparent Umber and Potter's Pink. I thought those were pretty colors. And I got a 12 half pan set to make all my little half pans in. I really like the holder. Now these I'm on the fence with because you can get cheaper and those of you who are watercolor artists can let me know. I know you can get cheaper things to make your own half pans with. This is stupidly, honestly expensive. Like I was not super thrilled with the price. Then you have to get the little half pans for it. It was weirdly expensive for a piece. Like I was surprised for this little piece of metal how much that cost. Maybe it's worth it. Maybe other brands aren't as nice. I don't know. I decided to get this one just because I knew I did like the other one. More paintbrushes. These are the black velvet watercolor set. So silver black velvet. That one came as a three pack. I got another block of Arches Hot Press watercolor paper. Well, two other blocks apparently, and a larger size. So that one is the 11 by 14 and then the nine by, or eight by 10. I think that's everything. Final disclaimer for all of this. I don't want anyone to see this and be discouraged thinking those things are not in my budget right now. I can't get started in watercolor or whatever medium you want. You don't need this many supplies. You can use far less than what I got. It's a little bit different for me being that I am a professional artist and this is a part of my business budget. So definitely in a bit of a different place than I was, you know, 20 years ago when I got started. You can get started with far, far fewer supplies and do excellent work. Just don't let, when you watch unboxing videos, don't let that discourage you from getting started because you do not need everything that I opened here. I mean, again, who gets to define the word need? I thought I needed them. I need to get hired at dictionary.com because I also need to change it to quidonkadonk. That should be made official. Like 20 of you know what I was talking about right there. Everyone else is like, huh? This girl's insane. I mean, you're not wrong, but that's in, like, whatever, I'm done. Let's move on. Have you subscribed yet? If not, I have a handy button right there. Right, right, what? Have you subscribed yet? If not, I have a handy button right there. It's round, has an orange arrow going towards it. If you click on that, that'll help you to keep up to date with all of my new art videos every single week. Although YouTube is not notifying most people anymore. So also click on the bell notification icon and sign up for my email newsletter. I send out one email once a week. I'm not gonna spam you. I don't have time to spam you. If, Spam, spam, I don't have time to spam you even if I wanted to. So anyway, that's probably the easiest way to make sure you're up to date with everything, but click on all the things.